All right. Good morning, everybody. November 5th. This is, what, episode f- number 14? Yes. Well, pretty strong. That's two weeks in the books. Um, so, quick disclaimer. It's a conversation between me and Mike. Just having, having some fun, shooting the shit. Um, we're just talking about whatever we comes to mind. None of this should be taken as any kind of expert advice or any kind of expertise. Again, we're just college guys, and we're just <clears throat> trying to be better and talking about it and having you guys listen in. That's it. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Uh, the topics for the day include on the personal development, how to be humble and confident at the same time. You can actually do both. Um, on the fitness sections, how exercise transfers over the other aspects of life, which is very, very important. And I think this one also can be categorized as personal development. So it's two for one today. Uh, and finance, we're going to talk about pump and dump and what does that mean? And how you know traders usually fall into the rabbit hole. A news update. There's mm-hmm. not much to talk about that, but <laughs> we will uh, tell you, keep you informed about some news that we're following today. Other than that, let's get it started. Uh, first thing first, we need to define the difference between not being humble and being confident. So what is what are those? What do you think? Right. So when I hear the word humble, I think of somebody that <clears throat> understands that not everything is about them. Understands that there's a lot of different variables out there in the world, and you can't think that everything revolves around you. Right. So you need to be able to grasp that concept and just live life accordingly. You're not the center of the world. You're a part of the world. Everything kind of just happens and you flow within that as opposed to everything flowing around you. Um, and then as for confidence, I would say that it's, it's kind of, again, the, the whole point of the topic is to kind of how do you balance the two things because they kind of tend to be opposed to each other. But not always, and not necessarily, especially if you find a good balance. Confidence is somebody that understands their ability and their skills and knows that they can do what it is that needs to be done. Um, confidence is somebody that it's kind of it's pretty self-explanatory, yet it's you, we have to explain it, so it's kind of difficult, right? So yeah. when I think of somebody that's confident, I just think of somebody that doesn't shy away from doing whatever needs to be done. Um, even if there's something, even if there's just some sort of fear or there's some sort of apprehension to doing something, they're able to do it by virtue of the fact that they know that they're able to do it. They're confident in their abilities. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. Um, for me, humble, similar to what Randy said, to add on to that, uh, it's somebody who knows where he, she came from. Uh, so knowing your roots are very important because you cannot pretend to be somebody else just because you have a better life now and look down at the rest of the people. Know where you come from, um, know new people and treat everybody at the same level as you because everybody is at the same level as you. Uh, Nobody's above uh, anybody else and that's the importance of being humble, in my opinion. Um, Yeah. Uh, when it comes to confidence, is somebody who is on, on its purpose, whether he or she knows her abilities well, like if you are on your purpose, then you're confident because that's all that matters. Confidence, I feel like is more internally rather than externally. You mm-hmm. can be bad, ugly, um, good looking or whatever. If you are confident internally, that shows really like it really projects out there like the vibes but but for me confidence is more like you're staying in your purpose like you got you first of all you have a purpose in life (laughs) and you're staying on it like regardless that down ups and downs that life brings you that's being confident (laughs) knowing that your abilities you know well you're knowing your abilities and knowing where to go from there I think about it. Confidence 
is self-worth, right? It's what you believe you're worth. And to a certain extent, <clears throat> in order to balance having humility and not having too much or overestimating confidence and having that jump into being like narcissistic, because that becomes a problem, right? When you have like too much confidence, you think you're so much the shit that everybody doesn't compare to you. Correct. So that's why you, you try to balance that with humility because as much as however good you are, whether you're the shit or you're nobody, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you need to be humble simply because if you're overconfident, that's always a problem. Whether it's now or later on to the future, you will get what's coming to you because karma exists, I would say. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, that's actually a good point I, I want to talk about. Like confidence usually means to be selfish in a sense. Like, listen to me. And it's kind of contradicting because humble is the opposite. Humble is being giving, being selfless. Careful. Yeah. So they are contradicting to each other. Confidence, when it comes to being selfish, you got to be selfish on like your purpose. You got to be selfish on your time and the things that you want because, you know, it's your life. So at the end of the day, that's the only thing that should matter. But at the same time, when you are humble, you should, you need to be humble because you need to contribute back. Uh, a person, like a well-rounded person, I would say, it's one that balances be between being selfish and between giving back or being humble. And that's what, that's what the contradiction goes. Like you see um, other persons out there who are like super confident, like very, like their ego really like high, that they don't give a shit. But that shows that they, really don't give a shit to the point that if they see like an old person crossing the street they wouldn't help them or in the bus like if they see like an old person standing there and they're like 20 years old they're not going to give the seat to that old person so you got to understand to be humble in the aspect that you need to be a gentleman in order to kind of do do these little things but that's really show and now it all comes down at the end of the day to your uh to the manners morality that you were born or raised or still inculcating in yourself, like kind of, you know, like bringing it in into your life because you need to balance it out. You cannot be selfish and like overconfident because that comes out later as a narcissistic. That's a behavior that you don't want to go through. You don't want to like follow the path to. So let me play devil's advocate because <clears throat> oftentimes what you find with guys specifically and talking to girls is that they're too shy, right? Mm -hmm. And the thing that they're, and the thing that they're missing is some confidence. Mm -hmm. So someone would say, you need to be overconfident in a situation like that because you're too shy. Or right. maybe you could say you're too humble. Mm. Oh, oh yeah, when, you, you're, when you're too humble, you come out as a nice guy. <laughs> but mm -hmm. when you're too overconfident, you come out as an asshole. Just be natural. And there's something to be said about that because some people like that, right? Um, nobody likes a pushover, so if you're too nice, that's a problem. But nobody likes an asshole, so that's also a problem. So you need to find that balance. You can't just be too much of one because then you don't really get anywhere. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And don't get us wrong. Like Everybody struggles with this, balancing it out. Uh, I sometimes do that. I uh, sometimes I'm perceived as an asshole and I'm not. <laughs> no nah, man, you're pretty. You're a dick. I'm gonna lie. Yeah, in a way, yeah. I'm very, I'm very uh, outspoken. Not outspoken. I'm very blunt. I would tell you the truth, like it's mm -hmm. straight But that doesn't mean I'm an asshole. It's just you know. Well, yeah, I mean, there's a nicer way to say it, but you know, I get it. But if I know that you are doing something great or like you are doing something good, I would also like emphasize that. <laughs> For me, it's not just like bringing people down. It's more like kind of not teaching it, but more like no, just pointing at the truth. Yeah, it's, it's more like I'm trying to, in my perspective, I, I will be like trying to help them out. But sometimes that comes out mm -hmm. as a big move. But yeah, yeah, for sure, it is what it is. But the it same, is what it is. Yeah, but at the same time, I'm, I know who I am. I know where I come from. I know my roots, and I know my people. I never try to look down on them when it comes to friends, regarding which background they are, which race, color, gender, whatever. I don't discriminate in that aspect. And I don't see nobody 
above me nor below me. So you can be the richest person in this world. I wouldn't see you as a superior to me. I would admire you, for, admire for the work ethic that you have. I would try to learn from you. But I wouldn't necessarily look like up, you know, look above you. Or like you are superior to me. And that's what for me, having a conversation with a, like an old person, like a 40, 50 year old for me comes naturally. Like people are actually um, like, I can have a one-to-one conversation, com- uh, conversation with these type of people because I don't see them as superior. Regardless, they have lived more uh, years than I did. It, uh, actually, let me bring a point that Randy brought the other day. The experience or like mentorship shouldn't really matter when it comes to age because you can have experienced different things that the other per- that old person did, but you both can learn from each other because you both are the same level. And that's being humble but at the same time being confident because you know your worth and you know that you're not, um, you know, inferior nor superior than others. And that's the true balance you want to look for. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's, uh, <laughs> that's good. Okay. Drop the mic. Anything? Right, anything? No, that's pretty much it. <laughs> just one other thing that I, <clears throat> that I just thought of, but let's see if I, I can't really think of how to put it into words properly but i'll try so to me confidence is if the circumstances were like again talking about somebody that's older than you that's more experienced and has has what you want like they've gone through life and they have the things that you would like to have and achieve confidence is knowing that if circumstances were the same if you had their same circumstances you would be able to achieve the same thing um now, everybody's circumstances is different. So you're going to have to overcome your own personal obstacles and things like that. But at the end of the day, it's still knowing that despite whatever the circumstances are, you can get to where they are simply because you know what you're capable of. Mm-hmm. That's it. Absolutely. So if you're a guy, especially, or if you're trying to be more confident, work on yourself. And trust me, that confidence is going to be projected out there and people are going to notice that because once again, you can like, you can fake confidence. That's easy to do. You can completely fake confidence, but you're lying to yourself. You can lie to the rest of the world, but you cannot lie to your inner self because you know your insecurities. And as a man, you got to embrace those insecurities. And regardless of what they are, everybody has insecurities. If you, in, um, embrace them rather than you know embrace and accept those insecurities and try to work on them rather than just hiding them then trust me that confidence is gonna go to the sky and yeah just work on yourself being your purpose and don't forget who you are don't forget that you are human and everybody's human so be humble at the same time and also like yeah i feel like a lot of a lot of men especially they are they get too overconfident because they think there's like bad guys or like um they like uh, assholes and right. to add, wait to an extent it's kind of true but the type of peers that they yeah the, you don't want them are not worth it so there's something to be said about like that quiet confidence yeah I don't know man it's always worked for me you've seen how it works when it comes to game too like whipping whipping on the game industry. <laughs> Uh, uh, when it comes to game, it's um, you know I I I tried it. I I had uh, I had a game I will say, it, but the best game is your inner game. Best game is no game when it comes from it. Now mm-hmm. you don't know what we're talking about game or what game means. Uh, don't, worry don't worry about it. If you don't know, you don't know. Anyway. <laughs> if you know, you know. But 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 yeah. Cool cool cool. All right. Um, yeah, that's pretty much balance. Be happy. Be you. Be Jones. Yeah. Just be cool, man. Just be calm and cool. Be what, my friend? <laughs> Still my favorite quote from Bruce Lee. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's let's jump right into fitness because fitness also has a little bit to add up to this personal development topic, um, mm-hmm. how exercise transfers over the aspect of your life. 
Right. Is that expert talk? See what he has to say to that. So again, this is a kind of uh, balance as well with the personal development. Mm -hmm. When it comes to training, here's some of those uh, the, those aspects that kind of that are like just fundamental for exercising. One, you have to have discipline. You have to be consistent. You have to work hard. You have to do things when you don't want to do them. Usually, most of the time, most people don't want to work out. Um, let's see, what else? You have to push yourself well beyond your limits sometimes, but it's a consistent progression of every day you get up and you do the work that you need to do despite the circumstances. If you think of all those things, they've transferred pretty easily into life. There's work that you have to do. Take, for example, school, which you don't want to do, but you have to do. Um, whether that be doing stuff with your businesses, if, you have, if you're starting up an entrepreneurship, um, if you're doing something with like a YouTube channel or things like that. Oh, hold on. Your camera. Yeah. So all of these things, they transfer over into day-to-day -day life. You always have, Jesus, I'm getting another call, that's why. <laughs> Well, let me pause it. Let me see. No, no, you got it. Are you good? Okay. So, yeah. So these are the things that, that you do every day or you need to do every day in order to be successful. Um, what do you think? Yeah, definitely. Um, when it comes to working out or just going to the gym, it takes a lot. It takes a lot of will, a lot of discipline, and a lot of motivation. And also, you have a goal. You should have... We talk about this, you should have a goal when, whenever you start working out. Now, if you just project that in your life, you're gonna realize that all of that is pretty much your life. Like that's your journey. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, it, it, you know, so you wake up, you have a goal, a daily goal, or you have a goal in the, like, you know, the end goal of your life. It's to get to there, it's going to take you discipline, hard work, and a strong will. Because time to time, times are going to get hard. Now, maybe just internally, like with, within yourself, or like the environment around you, it's going to get tough. You need to go through that. And it's literally like doing like the, your um, PR. What do you call it like that? This, um, Personal PR. record, PR, PR. PR, yeah. So you have to push yourself to the limit in order to achieve them. And sometimes you don't know what those limits are. Sometimes you, um, like, you know, when, whenever you're trying, like, let's say you started with one plate, 145 plate for bench press, and you want to go a little bit more, just a little bit more to see if you're progressing. You put a five pounds uh, a plate more, and you achieve that. Now, you wouldn't have added to those uh, five pounds extra, if you didn't want to get a little uncomfortable or challenge yourself. And that's life what it's all about. Challenges in getting out of your comfort zone. Now, um, you go to the gym also because you know you want to have fun, socialize. We are social animals. So unless you're like super introvert, but you're still social because you've got friends and family to interact. So we are social animals. In the gym is a really good place to meet good people as well as you know bring your friends and who knows maybe you find a wife right there um i mean that's where i met my girlfriend so yeah it's like a big attic, big example right there so mm -hmm. you gotta be a personal trainer for that too <laughs> but you don't actually have to you just you have to it'll make it a little bit weirder you just randomly open no, I, don't, girl. I think i think when it comes to like picking up gears or just waiting gears the gym is a good spot no, it definitely is. But again, it has to be something organic because you gotta make uh, otherwise if you like force the interaction, it's going to be a little weird. Yeah. So you got to like kind of make it organic else you are a creep. Another creep. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so like have her watch you or have her uh, spot you when you're doing heavy squats. Yeah, to be honest, just kind of creep on her. <laughs> be any fun. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah there's so many ways guys there's so many ways y'all depend on me 
absolutely in, in some senses it's not. Yeah. Uh, the same machines, maybe she's interested in you and you don't know that. She's gonna put it, put herself out there. But, but yeah, other than that, um, yeah, so life is about to be having fun as well. And Jane, you, you, you have a lot of fun in there as well. Mm -hmm. so, it's transferable. All those good habits that you bring to the gym. And when it comes to working out, also it doesn't have to be the gym, like just working out. Um, you slowly, slowly see the difference that that impact that they have in your life as well. Because you start applying it unconsciously, you start applying it into your daily, uh, daily routine. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Yep, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. You work hard in and out of the gym. Yep. <clears throat> yes, sir. All right. Let's go to finance. Pump and dump. You should explain this better because you're a trader. There's usually a trader. Right. So quick pump and dump. Mm -hmm. You can use it for trading. You can use it for women. It's up to you. No. But pump and dump in terms of the stock is generally when something or someone decides to, well, not necessarily decides, but a stock has this amazing performance or it has a lot of hype behind it, behind it. And it's just, there's no particular like reason for it, this to happen. It kind of just happens. Sometimes it could be some news. So like you can take a Tesla and Elon Musk saying something and that pumps up the stock and then slowly it'll start coming back down because it went way too high, right? Yeah. Or it could be something totally different. Like you have absolutely no idea what caused this insane run. Like, uh, what was it, Kodak? Remember when Kodak jumped like 2,000% over the course of like three days? Yes. And then it just started slowly, but sure, well, not even slowly, it really quickly started falling. And it just came right back down to where it was and not lower. So pump and dumps usually have some sort of catalyst that drive the prices up an insane amount and then very quickly it just falls right back down yeah so like he said it's it stocks that you know mysteriously maybe there are some like actual fundamentals maybe there is some catalyst behind it but they tend to like like it's high rock for no reason and it's because like the bullet bought that tie behind it with the people putting money into it but it's slowly but surely they already make enough money like enough trade they, they start dumping it. So they have their uh, risk manage the risk margin. And risk say, yeah. okay. so they, let's say they already made a 3% profit out of this trade. A lot of traders, they, that's a really good return. They're going to dump it. They're going to start selling out. And surely the charge start looking to the other way. So you got to be careful with these trades because, um, you know, it's risky. Because if you buy on the on the peak, there's no way he's going back to the peak afterwards. Unless it's a secure, uh, like a comp, like a like a good company, like let's say Tesla. Like usually, if you hold it for the next week or so, you might get your money back. You might get your capital back. But if there are like the, the smallest stocks, the stocks that kind of are not worthless, but you know have less value, and as a company, they're not going to go back back over there. So you can end up losing tons of cash. Because usually when you go into these trades, you might go with like 100, 200 shares. That's a lot of money. So be careful with that. But yeah, so that's pump and dump. As the word says it, pumping. Wait, what is a pumping thing? Like? Mm -hmm. And dumping <laughs> the, the air out of it. Kind of like that bubble, the burst. Mm -hmm. That is. And uh, if you're if you're not lucky, uh, now I would say it's luck in that in that aspect to make the money. Or if you catch the trend like really fast, if you're lucky and you catch the trend, you can make tons of money. But at the same time, you can lose money. So a lot. Know, yeah. So be careful with those trades, but that's all it is. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, any news updates from you? Any trades that you're looking at? I know that you actually you're trading like three companies, right? According to the, if you post that. So yeah. No, so I'm still trading Neo. I'm looking at Peloton. They have an earnings report. Uh, 
what you saw the trades were TQs and SQs, and then Neil as well. Um, yeah. Any luck with those over? No, not particularly. When I bought them, they were going sideways, so couldn't really make profit off of that. And then Neo is rebounded. The overall market is rebounding really strong right now, so everybody's technically up. So that's cool. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Trade, trade, trade. Yeah, for me, on day trading, I'm staying away from day trading uh, for now because of the elections. It's a little bit uncertain. Uh, there, you know, people are going to say you can actually make more money during these uncertain times, like Wendy. But um, I prefer not to because I didn't have the, like, once again, when it comes to trading, you need to do your research, you need to analyze the, um, you know, time to time checking the charts and stuff like that. I didn't have time to do all that starting uh, yesterday because I had an exam, so I wasn't doing that. But uh, when it comes to my long term portfolio, uh, it's been it's been on green, which I like to see. But uh, in other news, Uber and Lyft, DoorDash is called giant, uh, gigantic queen. Uh, California voters save to save voters save the gig economy. It seems like you know they're no longer had to pay for contractor because um, California was suing Uber and all these companies that they should pay the minimum wage, like you know minimum wage and also like insurance and all the benefits as a worker. So instead of looking at you know the Uber drivers. As per, uh, like as uh, individual contractors, they should be workers for Uber, and it was a back and forth. Now uh, they came to an agreement, and now you know they don't have to do that anymore. The the I think the stock is up because of that. It's a huge win for Uber, but not for the people, because what California was trying to do it was actually good. Because you know like there are tons. Tons of people who work for them, for Uber, who actually does their full-time job, they should deserve the same qualifications or same uh, terms as a regular worker, you know, the, the health insurance, the uh, minimum wage, because time to time they're not going to make the same money. But yeah, so they save that key economy. Um, depending on where you stand, it can be good and bad, because if they were to pay as workers, Uber prices were going to go up over there. No. Yeah, New York would happen next. So. Uh, other than that, so rec the stock is wrecking differently than I expected to this election and to this, um, to this, to this, to this uncertainty about who's the president, who's going to be the next president. And we're already seeing the, the little effects that, you know, this kind of close race, I would say. It's having like Trump already wants uh, Wisconsin's vote to be recounted and wants it to take to the Supreme Court. And it's very uncertain. It's that, uh, certain. So we'll see what ends up happening these next weeks with the stock market. Uh, aside of that, yeah, I have something to add. Bitcoin? Yes, Bitcoin. Bitcoin is on the roofs, guys. So if you missed it out, uh, it keeps going up. Uh, it has potential for to reach to the 15th peak. We will see what happens, but yeah, that's actually incredible. Something that I was not expecting to see. Oh, and New Jersey legalized weed. So if you're from New York, you can. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you can just drive down to that. To, to born in New Jersey. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure it's still an issue to drive back with it, no? Most likely, but nobody checks the cards. Nobody's going to be checking the cards. I don't smoke. Quick disclaimer. You don't or you do? I don't. Something. <laughs> 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 last uh, Cool, cool, cool. All right. Uh, other than that. Yeah, that's it. That's Take it. care. We'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully we have a president by tomorrow. If not, yeah, whatever. But cool, 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 guys. Have a good day. It's a beautiful day out there. Uh, take your daily walk, your coffee, and be productive. Deuces.